week, we are going to look at the other platforms that you can use for digital marketing. I will say for today, to do business today, it's very important for you to use WhatsApp and Telegram as well. Okay, why you, you want to use WhatsApp and Telegram? Okay, any idea? Kenapa anda perlu guna WhatsApp dan Telegram? Ah? Ada jawapan dari anda? Semua? Anybody want to answer? Mengapa guna WhatsApp dan Telegram juga sangat penting? Ada siapa boleh jawab? Mengapa WhatsApp, Telegram sangat penting? Okay, to communicate direct with the customer, ya. Yeah. Untuk berhubung terus dengan uh, pelanggan, ya. Yeah. Khasnya, khasnya, remember, if you communicate with the customer, it means that you directly deal with them, okay? It's uh, because you cannot see their face, but you listen to them, you, your, your, uh, your sound, the sound, your intonation, how they express the things actually you you can get to know them more rather than you you gonna whatsapp uh, rather than you gonna facebook or instagram so you can communicate with them and then you can persuade them even more and you can help them to answer their their questions all this will give them more confidence they might not have confidence with you okay the other keyakinan no confidence with you they they might not see your face they didn't see your shop, so they need something that to give them confidence. So if you can communicate with them using the WhatsApp or Telegram, actually this is one way to to help them to uh to get them closer to you. Uh, okay, and then remember, uh, in the previous chapter, unit five. Okay, unit five. We also mentioned about the various techniques, remember not the techniques to attract the customer. Okay, technique yang pertama, remember, KLT system, no like and trust system. Okay, yang dalam teknik ini, you need to let them know your product first. And then, after that, they need to like your product before they trust your product and continue to buy from you. So, if you want to make them know and like your product, actually, Tele telegram marketing or whatsapp marketing very very important eh? okay so let's continue here with my topic about whatsapp or telegram marketing okay so what happened eh? can i see the words all right the this is the basic of communication. Eh? So through this basic communication, you can do a few things. First, you can know your customer better. Like I say, you, you hear their voice or you, you talk to them and then indirectly allow you to know your customer better. Okay, You know what they expect. You know what are the things that uh, they might worry, they might want to ask you further. And then next, uh, you can... Uh, explain further to them okay give them description explain further to them and then uh, tell them uh, what are the feature the advantage and the benefits of using this product we call it fab the feature the advantage and the benefits of using the product or service and last you can even do suggesting selling so you can suggest to them okay why not you can buy this model or this version rather than another version because sometimes you are selling few different types of products you are selling different type of products so you can uh, suggest to them the product that is the uh, more suitable with their um with their needs or their wants product that more suitable for them okay so this is the importance of marketing using whatsapp and instagram besides that okay you can uh, build the rapport okay build the rapport when the customer know that they they think that you are very supportive 
you help them to answer the question, you also suggest what is the best product for them, then actually build up your rapport. And then, of course, in WhatsApp, Instagram, you allow them to, to, to purchase as well. Okay, so you actually, you can allow them to, to click a purchase or somebody from you. Okay, you can do possession, pers uh, per persuade them. Okay, persuade them. Yeah, to uh, cuba cuba men uh, mempengaruhi mereka supaya mereka membeli. Okay, to persuade them to buy. So mempengaruhi mereka supaya mereka berminat untuk membeli. And then provide them with further information and even upsell to them. Okay, still remember the term upsell or not? Okay, when you sell. You can sell them uh, the product only, okay? The product only. So the product, it might be the basic version. Like uh, if we talk about McDia, the burger set, okay? Set, yeah. Yes, uh, keep the, we, call it, we sell the normal, uh, normal uh, set or the basic set. Uh. So if you upsell, upsell, that means that you, you sell extra to them. So when we say upsell, upsell means that maybe for, for the example of burger set, Burger set, yeah, large. Okay, you can go for large. Large, maksudnya drinks yang lebih banyak dan fries yang lebih banyak. Itu uh, dipanggil upsell. It means that you sell a bigger uh, or higher version, more expensive, more expensive version to them. For example, if you look at car, okay, recently uh, Myvi has a new version of car, right? Uh, Produa has a new version of Myvi. Okay. You will show my so the maybe they have a basic model after that they have a, a, a more higher advanced model or premium model so the premium model actually is the upsell so you can buy the basic uh, model but you also can choose for the advanced the better upsell model so all right so that is the purpose of doing whatsapp and telegram marketing so if you want to do WhatsApp marketing, remember your WhatsApp profile must be a business profile. A business profile means now uh, you will start to see uh, if you are talking to some uh, uh, somebody using the, the, the businessman, uh, the companies who are using the WhatsApp, okay, using WhatsApp, then you notice there are terms there. You are communicating with a business profile. Okay, business profile. So for WhatsApp, you can create business profile. Okay, business profile here. Actually, you can put in your details of the business in the WhatsApp. Okay, you can prepare it. Uh, just write it down. Or you can prepare a very small uh, poster and put in your WhatsApp. Every time a new customer trying to contact you, you and you show them your small poster. It's like a small name card, name card of the company. It can be a name card, you can create a name card, digital name card, and every time your customer contact you, you can reply to them directly, okay? And then you can create catalog, I say, a brochure, poster to show your product and services. You show them your products, and services you even can share the photos we always say uh, just to share the photo is not good enough so you have to change the photo into poster and some of you i already checked your poster very nice and beautiful well done uh. okay i didn't complete i uh, didn't finish checking off i just see uh, uh, look at a few of you uh, who submit earlier i checked okay so um the poster will allow people to understand further about your product, your, your service and your prices as well. Okay, and the good thing with WhatsApp is normally you can reply your customer very fast and your, you can convince, okay, memberi keyakinan kepada pembeli. Okay, you can convince your customer to buy the product. And also you can set an away message when you are not available, when you cannot answer the the question, the question, uh, because you are ho on holiday, you can set an away message. You can create an automatic message, and you also con can connect via computer. This is the best with uh, WhatsApp. 
Okay, you can use computer. You even you even can use voice voice message, which now is quite popular. We always use voice message because sometimes when we explain using words, it's very hard to understand. Okay, sometimes it's very hard for people to to understand what you want to say. So you can send voice message. Okay, you can create a voice message and send to your customer as well. Okay, especially when you have something new to promote. Okay, or you even create a small video to send using WhatsApp. Also, people are, are preferring to do that. There are lots of people are starting to do that. While for Telegram, Telegram channel, okay, remember you can also create a public and private Telegram channel. And remember, some Telegram channel you can set for uh for information on it so people cannot reply people cannot ask questions only the admin can post the information the the uh, uh the photo the videos everything into the channel you can do that okay however for the purpose of telegram we always use it for telecommunication so we always allow people to ask questions and you answer directly using the telegram channel the good thing with telegram channel is uh like recently okay when you join the telegram channel uh set by the apk ve team then you will see that every time you join a telegram channel you will be wel welcome with a message with your name okay so you can do anything like this okay you welcome your customers with uh, any message uh, in the telegram welcome message okay so if you allow allow your customer to feel uh, like uh, um, important themselves is important to your customer so same thing for telegram you can access using computer okay so next we are looking at whatsapp all right Oh, sorry, not WhatsApp. Uh, website. We are looking at what website. So website, there are two types of uh, website. Okay, the first type is we call it informative website. So website about the portfolio of the business. We call it e-portfolio, e-portfolio of business. In another one, it's a website to show you what the company, the business is doing. Okay, it can be static. It can be uh, very dynamic and interactive. You can make it dynamic and interactive by adding a lot of pictures, um, a lot of uh, videos uh, to make it interesting. And then you allow them to interact with you by um, creating buttons to click, buttons to click one. Okay, you can add in your uh, link to your channel uh, or Facebook channel, Facebook page, Telegram link or WhatsApp link. So people can interact with you using the website. And also you can use e-commerce website. Okay, e-commerce um, or we call it marketplace website. So those marketplace website is for you to sell information. So for informative, they are focused on giving information on it. They are not trying to sell. But for e-commerce, you can use your own website, not necessarily using Lazada, Shopee, and other like Muda kind of website to do selling. You can use your own website to do selling. We call it e-commerce as well. Huh? So in your website, if you want to do selling, you will see like lots of products being presented in the website and then they are trying to sell it okay so some of your senior okay they do very good here they create a very good e-portfolio website not only with information but they also show the customers a lot of uh, product for sale so they did a very good job later on you can refer to them huh? so for website when you want to create or build a website you can use uh, e-commerce website or you can use a website like Weebly, Wix, uh, or other like Google site to help you to build the website. This is the uh, website builder. And then Wix is one of the, the very easy user-friendly to use. Okay, I prefer to use Wix. 
But Google site also uh, not that difficult to use. Uh. I, I found that not that difficult. But Wix for me is very easy because they have the so-called, they have the template. They have uh, different uh, template to help you. If you want to do selling, you can use their template and you can create your own selling platform using a Wix. Very easy to use. For for other websites, some other websites, you have to create your own content. So you need a content management system. WordPress is one of that content management system, and then allow you to build from scratch. Like uh, you can use uh, HTML and CSS and other other platforms. Huh? Of course, I always remember you. If you are just the beginner, then you use a site like Wix. If you are more advanced, you can use um, a, a Google site. And even if you are really advanced, you can use a, a site like HTML to build your own platform. Okay, so it's up to you. But remember all the group, every group must have one website, huh? one website. And then in that website, in that website, you must have um, uh, the information about that uh, com your company, okay, like the photo that you create for your photo that you create for your this uh, uh, for your team, the uh, founder team photo you can put inside already in the website. Okay, the teaser video also you can put in the website already. So all the information you can start to build out your website now, not only until. The, the before the end of the semester only you build your website huh? okay so google my business site is also one okay one um uh, i can say to help you okay one apps to help you to get connected online to do business okay so they are using google to search for business make it easier for customer to find you and get your business information so Google My Business is the tool to create your Google business profile on Google. So your business will appear on Google Maps and Google Search. Okay, these two are very important. If customer want to search for something now, we always say uh, we look for a guru. The guru is Google. So every time we want to do something uh, like, uh, for example, I might want to get my car repaired. Okay, I search in the Google. Okay, Google Map, find a workshop that is near to my house. One. Then second thing is I will look at the comments, the review from uh, about that workshop, for example. Okay, if the review is really good, then I will go there. Okay, so people are doing that. So we are depends on Google, our guru, to help us to decide what product or what service from where we get that product or service. Okay, so if you click the Google My Business, you will find something like this. Okay, and then what you do is you just sign in. All right. So in Google My Business also, Google allow you to do advertisement. So now you will find a lot of advertisement in the Google search. Okay, so it means that nothing is free. Okay, nothing is free. So they want to earn money as well. So they will not earn money from people who do the search, but they earn money from business who want to promote the product. So every time when you open a business, um, uh, sorry, when you open a Google uh, and you want to search, then you find the advertisement come first. The first page will start with always with the advertisement. Eh? Advertisement and on the right hand side also, you will find the advertisement. Okay, so the Google Apps is to help the company, the Google, to, to earn profit, but at the same time, allow the business to get more, um, uh, to be more promoted among people they do not know, okay? So every time when you start to search, then the, the business will, will be more aware, okay? To increase the awareness of the product or the services, as well as to promote the product and services. So when I use the word awareness, okay, awareness, yalah orang mengetahui, okay, we know what product is that, okay, or we know this brand, 
we we know this product so that is aware okay awareness so sometimes uh for product that we seldom use we will forget about that okay jarang guna kita lupa but so we need somebody to remind us so this advertisement is to help to get the reminder done okay so how to make money on website for companies we can do uh, aff affiliate marketing. It means that the marketing advertisement in the affiliate, affiliate website link to the seller website. So it means that when you have a website in your for your company, you can allow your partner lah, partner to do advertisement in your website. Your partner to do advertisement. So every time your uh, somebody click that advertisement of your partner then you will get paid okay this is one way okay so buyers click on the advertisement or the link then you will get paid huh? so sometimes you will get paid only if they are purchased it's up to you how you negotiate with your your partners for the payment okay you will get paid for a commission okay when especially when you help people to promote huh? then most of the time uh like you if you are doing suran you help people to do promotion most of the time you get commission for selling the product not only by click but also by selling the product okay however if you want to do this type, sort of marketing normally we need to ensure that a website has a very high um view okay very high view or many people will go into our website to, to, to read our website or to look at our website. Then only easier for us to get uh, return money from this kind of marketing. Another way that okay, very suitable for you also is you do a dropship marketing. Okay? Remember the term dropship. So it means that we as the middleman we are not producing the product ourselves but we have seller or producer or factories produce the product so we help them to do the promotion we have the seller the factory the manufacturer to produce the uh, to promote the product we help them to promote we do a lot of promotion and after we do the promotion now you have order uh, you have order from the customers so what happened is you place the order to the manufacturer or the seller you place the order so the seller will send the products directly to the buyer okay so dropship the key for dropship is the supplier or the manufacturer the producer will deliver the product directly to the buyer okay they deliver directly to the buyer it doesn't go through you you as the agent your job is to promote and sell promote and sell huh? but delivery by the supplier not by you so the good thing for 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 us is we as the agent or we as the mean uh, middleman huh? we earn profit or sometimes we earn commission depends on how you negotiate with the supplier so if you talk to the supplier say uh everyone you need i sell you give me commission like 10 percent then deal okay maybe this is the commission or the profit margin for you yeah okay? everyone you need you get the pay okay so how they pay sometimes uh the customer will pay you and then you pay to the supplier you as an agent customer buy from you so customer pay you okay but deliver directly by the supplier to the customer so what happened is after your customer pay you you pay the seller directly after uh, you deduct your profit margin lah. okay you you pay them sometimes uh, uh, you can deal with the supplier okay you can deal with the manufacturer you say okay you give me the best price wholesale price lah. let's say the wholesale price is 20 ringgit for one t-shirt uh, 20 ringgit so you can sell at 25 26 27 ringgit so every time the, you sell every t-shirt you sell to your customer what price is up to you but you have to pay the 
producer or the manufacturer, the supplier to during it. They only look at the uh, wholesale price. They don't care about what price you sell. So this is also one way of uh, deal. So there are many ways of deal. One way is you get commission. Second way is you deal with them uh, by asking for a wholesale price and you decide the price yourself. Okay, so after that, uh, the, after the customer receives the products, if the customer are happy with the product, they want to repurchase again, they can repurchase from you again. Okay, you as the agent. So this is one way also to do business using the website. Okay, so next we are looking at e-commerce website. Eh? There are many e-commerce website, uh, like for example, Shopee, Razada. These two are very popular, but this information is before year 2020, yeah? before year 2020. So I'm not so sure what happened now, uh, but uh, Shopee still remain very high, okay? Very high um, traffic. This is traffic. Traffic means click, uh, people go inside to look at the Shopee products. Doesn't mean that you must buy, okay? As far as you go inside, and you do a click, then uh, they will come. So Shopee, Lazada. How about, uh, actually we have other popular platform like Muda. Okay, I wonder why they didn't put in Muda here. So we have many different um, platform here. Okay, and according to here is Shopee is one of the most popular as compared to Lazada. Okay, which one is good? Okay, it's up to you to decide. But sometimes if you are uh, living in uh, East Malaysia, you find that delivery cost for Lazada is much higher. Sometimes uh, much higher than Shopee. Kan? Okay, so which one you like is up to you. But I actually, if you check, if you check whether the customers are using Shopee, uh, sorry, not customer, the suppliers, are using Shopee only or they're useful? If you check properly, most of them they are doing promotion is in both website. Okay, especially the the businessmen, the companies they have already a team of people who are always doing the e-commerce. Huh? they they have appointed a few staff who are doing the online business. Then they will do promotion in both Shopee and Lazada. Why not? Uh, Shopee and Lazada as well. Not only one. Okay, so one thing. Second thing is, when you do uh, business in uh, e-commerce platform, remember, for Shopee, for Shopee is, as far as you have the IC, then you can do business already in the Shopee. And okay? you have the IC, you can do business using your Shopee account. And for example, you are the buyer. You have the buyer then you used to buy in Shopee Gun, okay? I, I believe many of you has, have the experience buying in Shopee already. So if you buy in Shopee, actually just buy a few click, huh? you just click, 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 you can change your Shopee account to a business account. It too saja. You just buy a few click, you change your um, buyer account to a business account. So that is Shopee. For, for Lazada, it's slightly different. If you want to register in Lazada, you have to register in the Lazada business account as well. Okay, so you have, uh, you can have a, uh, what you call a customer buyer account, buyer account. You also have to create another account for your seller account. That is Lazada. You need to create another seller account. And for Lazada, beside you need your IC, you also need to show your bank statement. Bukan nak tunjukkan berapa jumlah wang kamu ada dalam bank account dan tidak. You don't need to show them your your money in the account. You just need to show them your uh, account number, which bank with your name. Okay, nama anda. If you want to register a Lazada account, uh, a Lazada business account, then you need your the, the account statement under your name. Okay, under your name. So Lazada uh, business account can be for private or for company. You can register under private name also. The other perbezaan, antara private 
and company. You can register under private name or company name. But it will be easier because you are now doing a group project. If you want to try, you register under your personal account. Okay, personal name. And then you show them your uh, bank statement. Katakan you have your main bank or your CRMP bank. You just give them the top part of your bank statement. Okay, setiap enam bulan sekurang-kurangnya atas satu bank statement. Nah, you boleh print. Jangan bagi, you don't show them the whole thing. You just show them the top of the statement with your name, your account number, and the bank logo there. Okay, so what are the tips to do business in e-commerce platform? First, you need to offer variety product range. You can offer many different types of products. The, main, the, the more, the, the better. Okay, and always offer trading, trending items and offer what the customer wants. Of course, if customer doesn't want, you don't sell it. Provide a wide range of payment options. That means allow them to pay using many different methods. But if you are using Lazada and Shopee, they are standard uh, payment method already. Okay, Stand out from the rest of the competitors with labels of product. So the labels... The description very very important here. Labels here, yalah contohnya uh, you you the product you say premium, okay premium T-shirt, okay katakanlah premium T-shirt, okay ready stock limited edition, okay remember when you use the terms the must terms might really reflect your product. Kalau kamu guna perkataan premium, premium means expensive kan? So your T-shirt must be something that better quality, expensive one, okay? A better quality, expensive one. Must not be very cheap and uh, very, very low, uh, very, people see like very low class type, okay? So the word premium must refer to the good, higher quality one. So limited edition, what else? What other keywords? Depends on the, the terms that people like to see okay depends on your products for example if you are selling uh, kataka, uh, minyak uh, wangi okay uh, what for example what now you can see in the in the website uh, for example shopee the other minyak wangi uh, and minyak angin wangi kind of things okay there are lots of things so for this sort of product, maybe what people want. You ask yourself, what customer want? So my customer might want natural. So the terms, suitable terms must be natural. Natural product. Okay. Authentic maybe. Okay. Traditional maybe. Kalau lah, traditional minyak wangi. Eh? Or traditional minyak angi berwangi. That's kind of thing. Huh? Okay. And maintain good rating of your business profile and products this is important and then uh, recently there is a news uh, I call, is it in shopee or lazada uh, when a customers give a poor rating poor rating gonna treat kan gonna treat is a uh, dalam news pun orang bercerita dengan ini so beat customer has the right to give you a poor rating. Rating satu star pun boleh. Customer has the right to, to give you a very poor rating. So that is very important to make sure that your product is good. Okay, if your product is not good, memanglah customer bagi you rating yang teruk. Satu star saja. Okay, so how to maintain a good rating? Actually, there are tips also lah. Katakan you you minta kawan beli sama anda, okay? Then your friend buy from you and minta tolong kawan bagi rating yang bagus. Of course, this is uh, for for the beginning lah, pada permulaannya, okay? When it begins, when it start, you can do this, okay? You ask your friends to buy from you, your friends can. So please lah, tolong tolong sedikit. So your friend help you to give you a good rating. So this is. For the very beginning you start okay well with a good rating but of course you can't do it for long term ah. tiap-tiap hari pun minta kawan buat rating memang kawan tidak suka suka lah. 
So that is one for the beginning untuk permulaan. Anda boleh buat. Okay, minta tolong kawan. Okay, how about if there are comments, there are positive comments, negative comments. Also, you have to address, you have to answer. Kalau ada comments, jawab saja. Okay, if positive, then you say thank you for um, buying from us. We appreciate, we tr we'll try to do our bet uh, better. Okay, if negative comment, then you say um, thank you for buying. Um, then you say something lah, we are sorry that our product doesn't achieve your, 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 your what your your target or what your demand okay but we will try to do better okay we will try to do better we will improve according to your comments so you must be ambil perhatian take not what the comments and you try to answer and then for especially for negative comment you cannot say oh, thank you thank you you cannot say that you must have other better answer for that and if you are using um Lazada and Shopee, you know that every time Lazada and Shopee when they have this uh, promotion, contohnya 12, 12, promotion 11, 11, these sort of promotions, they will offer some voucher. So, uh, for example, Lazada and Shopee, I think they have a free shipping voucher sometimes, free for the, uh, the, the seller to use to, to promote their product. Okay, kalau tak silap, uh, Shopee ada, free while shipping voucher. So you can make use of the offer provided by the e-commerce platform. Of course, if you are willing to spend money to follow the seller campaign, for example, 11-11 campaign, 12-12 campaign, then you can get even more click and more sell. Okay, so this is for doing business in e-commerce platform. Huh? Okay, next how about email, okay? For email, remember, Sebelum kamu buat email marketing, you need to collect information first. Email, of course, is free. Okay, it's free. But you need to collect information first. And how to collect information? Still remember? Masih lagi ingat kah? Still remember? Apakah anda boleh buat? To collect information. Satu keyword tu. In unit 5. Masih ingat? Unit 5. Cepat tengok ah, ada respon ke? I cannot see your 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 uh, answer in chat. Ada? Bagaimana untuk mendapat customer information in the Great. Huh? Anybody can answer? You can type in the chat. Offer them what? What to offer to them to get the customer email address? Yeah, questionnaire. Yes, yes, questionnaire. But uh, uh, J, J, okay, J. Uh, if you want to offer them, ask them to answer question A kan, minta maklumat. But you have to offer them something. Uh, what to offer them? Ingat lagi? Anybody? Uh, something like coupon, yes. Remember? Apa di, ini dipanggil? Ah? Apa ini? Still remember the term? Offer them with... Ah, lupa sudah ni. Okay, this is in unit 5. Ah. This is something that actually you can try to do now. Kalau anda berminat untuk buat email marketing, this is one way, is to offer them with lead magnet. M-L-E-A-D, ah. lead magnet. How to spell? Mag. Uh, magnet, M -A -G. And it is lebih kurang begini ya. Lead magnet. Magnet is, kamu tahu lah, magnet ialah to attract something ah, the, the steel, the iron, for example, the magnet. So lead magnet, it means that you want to attract customer. So you offer them with lead magnet. One example of lead magnet actually is kupun, okay, voucher, free sample, 
Okay, ini yang kamu boleh buat sekarang. This is what you can do for your uh, group project now. Eh? So, how you do is, for example, now you want to start to sell, kan? You want to get people to buy your product. So, you can uh, start to say, uh, if you buy now, you get like a 10% discount. Okay, first 10 customers. First 10 customers, you get special 10% discount. Well, so when you say 10% discount, so actually you are offering them with lead magnet. Dan tujuan lead magnet ini sepatutnya ialah untuk mendapat maklumat daripada customers. So, sometimes for companies who can offer them with uh, custom company who can offer them with sample. Uh, this is like, for example, give them, uh, provide them with sample, ask them to answer a question A, okay? Ask them to give you the email address. Sometimes uh, you can see like uh, in website, okay? If you want to get the tips, okay? Tips untuk menjaga kulit, for example. Tips for this, tips for that. Okay, you please subscribe please subscribe. So, please subscribe. When you subscribe, you are giving them your email address. Okay? Email address. So, subscribe, email address, then you will get the tips. The tips may be ebook lah, ebook tips. Okay? Ebook tips on skin care. So, after you subscribe, actually you already give them the information. Then, after that you read the Ebook, katakanlah you read a little bit about the ebook. The ebook say you should do this, 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 this. Antara produk yang boleh digunakan ialah ini. So, after that you might be interested. Then you want to buy something from them. Then you will be the potential customer. This is one way. Okay. You ask them to give them something. Then you ask them to join, to be the member, to subscribe. Then they will get something. Okay. They will give you information. Then they will be your potential customers. Another thing is, you tell them some product information. The FAB, yeah? feature, advantage, and benefits. So features are chili-chili product. Advantage, kebaikan atau kelebihan product. Okay, third, the benefits to the customers. What are the benefits you get? Okay, not only at the advantage, but benefits that they can get from using that product. So, uh, after you give that information, then you might able to collect data. Boleh lah, Miss, pergi saya email address. Nanti saya kasih kirim information. So, you give them, you ask them for email address, then you, you use that email address to give them information. Okay, so, for that information. And then, what uh, mentioned just now, like coupon, Voucher for them to have one trial, one tester, also is one type of marketing promotion. Okay, so you do that and then give to your potential customers and they might want to buy from you. Okay, remember, you can use a many different methods. Uh, free, there are free email marketing system or apps that you can use today. Okay, one of the um website or the apps that you can use now for doing this email marketing is what you call it get respond okay get respond so if you are doing using get respond you can uh, create the marketing email in the system and then you just put in the email um, address then the system will send the information or the email directly to the um, email address directly. You can set like, I have a first email, second email, third email. You can set three emails. Then after one person subscribe, he will directly get one email. Automatic uh, from the system, get response. So second, email will be sent maybe after two days. And then the third email will be sent after one week. So you can set the email and then the, the apps get respond will help you to send automatic. Huh? So you just do it one time. After that, everything automatic. 
Okay, so for email marketing, you might have direct email, you might have newsletter, you have might have apps in the email. Okay, apps in the email. Direct email means that sometimes you you have email direct to somebody to explain something, you give them an invoice or you send them with a brochure. Sometimes you have newsletter. Newsletter, you make it a, a letter that to tell somebody every week. Okay, tell somebody something every week. Like, uh, for example, Air Asia. Okay, they prefer to use uh, this uh, newsletter. Newsletter. So every week, they can send you some information uh, in the email. So you also can place some apps in the email. For example, you can have the the apps in the center pop up uh, or sidebar right inside bottom or, or footer okay the example here now pop up this is what we call pop up every time you open the website it pop up like this or on the right hand side bottom or footer okay footer so you can uh, please give us the email address and subscribe. Normally, they will say uh, subscribe, then we we'll give you something. So people are happy to subscribe. Okay, if you don't give something, people might not happy. So that's why now we come with. Um, sometimes we have ebooks, we have tips on doing things, a uh, short videos to attract people to look at your footer. I'm uh, sorry, to attract people to give you the email address. Okay, so so that is for unit uh, six. Unit six. Uh, do you have any questions? Other